In this lesson, we're going to take everything we've learned about graphing. It comes to uh, graphing with a data table, graphing given a, a line, given a point and the slope, uh, and we're going to put it all together and uh, take a look at, a, at uh, graphing equations that are of a, this form y equals mx plus b, where m is a, is a number of some kind and b is another number. So in other words, y equals 3x uh, plus 7. Or it could be y equals negative 2x uh, plus or minus uh, 6. Doesn't matter. Uh, any of that kind of a form where there's an, a y by itself equal so many x's. A number in front of the x could be a fraction. It could be could be two thirds, negative two thirds x, plus six or minus six or okay, and um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to just discover some really important concepts here. So first of all, let's just take this very first equation here, a example a, and we're going to find some a data some data points so we can graph it. So let's do that. Let's take and uh, we'll just take and plug some numbers in here. So let's just try uh, two, one. 0, negative 1, negative 2. Like we like we commonly use, just choose some easy numbers. So 2 times 2, so y equals 2 times 2 plus 3. So put the so I'm putting the 2 into the x here. So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7. 2, 7 is one of the points. Then I'm going to take and put the 1 in there. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. Put 0 in for the x. 2 times 0, zero is 0, plus 3 is 3. Negative 1 in there. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And finally, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 3 is negative 1. So there's our points for the first graph. Let's graph that line. So I got 2, 7. So over 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up. There we go. And then over 1, up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, don't go left or right, x is 0, and up 3, and left 1, up 1, and left 2, down 1. And there we go, we've got a line. So we, could, we can actually draw a line through that, and uh, let's see if we can do this with the draw tool here. Try to do it best we can here. Okay, so we're trying to get it through here. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, so something like that. Now, um, we need to, let's do the other line. While we're doing it, let's just do the other line here. Um, so let's get some points here again. I'm going to do the old, uh, just change, change colors here. Okay, two, one. Just pick some easy numbers for x. Make a data table with it, and now plug those in and figure out the y's. So the first one, y equals negative three times two, and then minus two. So negative times two is negative six. Minus two more is negative eight. And the uh, next one is one. Put 1 in there, and when three, negative 2 times 1 is negative 3, minus 2 is negative 5. 0 would be negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3, minus 2 is 1. And negative 2 times 3 is negative, is positive 6, sorry, 6 minus 2 is 4. So we got the next points of the next line. We learned that kind of stuff before, so I'm not taking a lot of time for this. So 2, negative 8, let's see, 2, negative 8, 1, 2, and then down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's way down, barely on the, the screen here. Okay, negative 1, or 1, negative 5, sorry. 1, negative 5, over 1, down 5. 3, 4, 5. 0 is negative 2, so 0, negative 2. Negative 1 and up 1. Oh, same as that one right there. Okay. 
on that line there, and then negative 2, 4. So mine over 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 4. There we go. So we've got the points. Let's make a straight line. Try to get our a little better job this time. Last time wasn't the greatest, but uh, let's put it through here. Bam. Okay. That worked pretty good. We got it through the points pretty good that time. Okay. So there we go. Now the question here is, it says, uh, take what we know, look at the graphs here, the y-intercept, so the point where it crosses the y-axis is the point, uh, and that's where it crosses the y-axis. This is find the y-intercept called b of both these equations. So b is the y is the y-intercept, and so the y-intercept of a, of the first line, so a would be uh, the first one. So let's label that. This one is a. And this one here is B, okay? So uh, yeah, okay. What is the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is where it crosses. So where this crosses right there, so that's at 0, 3. So the point 0, 3. X is 0, Y is 3. So then x is always going to be 0 when it crosses the y-axis because the x doesn't go left or right. It's just up or down. Okay, so 0, 3. And for the second one, it's going to be 0 again. So 0, and that's negative 2. There we go. Compare these values with the equations of the two lines. What do you notice? Well, if you look at 0, 3, and look at the equation, y equals 2x plus 3. So the, let's just write that down y equals 2x plus 3. And the second one was b was y equals negative 3x minus 2. y equals negative 3x minus 2. What do you notice about the y about this y-intercept and the equation? Well, what I should notice here is the fact that the 3 is the same number as the last number there, the number that's added or subtracted on the end is the y-intercept. Interesting. So when it comes to this y equals mx plus b, the number there, this b here, is the y-intercept. So the uh, let's write that down. The b in y equals mx plus b, that b we're talking about, is uh, equal, or I'll put the word equal, equal to the y-intercept. So the place it crosses the y-axis. That's cool. Okay. So that's one important thing. The second important thing is the slope of the line. Let's look at the slope of the line. So let's calculate the slope of each line. Let's get A. What's the slope of A? Well, the slope of A, here I guess take gonna take two points. And we'll just take, well, I can take any two points where it crosses. We can take these two points, any two points. And remember the rise is two, the run is one. Two squares up, two across. So the slope of that one is 2 over 1 or equal to 2. Okay, now that's positive 2. And what about the other line? If I take this other line, what's the slope of it? Well, let's just take a couple points here as well. I'll just take this, these two points here is good enough. I can take any two points. And so it's 1 across and 1, 2, 3, 3 up. Now, one thing about this, though, it's going down. The other one's going up, so it's positive. This one's going down 3, so it's going down. So this is going to be a slope of negative 3 over 1, which equals negative 3. So that's the slope of negative 3 over 1. And what do you notice about those two equations again? Well, if you just take a look at the equations again, this is y equals 2x plus 3, and the other equation is y equals negative 3x minus 2. What do you notice? Well, you should notice that the 2 is the same as the number in front of the x. So the slope 
is the number that's multiplying the x. So the m is <coughs> is the uh, is the slope of the line in y equals m x plus b where this is or this is the slope m okay Okay, so how does it help us? Let's go to the let's go to the next page and put it all together here. So what we learn is this number is the slope. This number is the point called the y-intercept. <coughs> so let's look at this first example here. A. The slope is two thirds. That's the number in front of the x is two thirds. The B or the is negative four. That's the where it crosses. So it crosses the axis at negative four. So let's plot that point. So negative four is one, two, three, four. That's where it crosses the the, the axis, and the slope is two thirds. And how do we slope? Remember, slope is rise over run. So rise over run is 2 over 3. So rise is 2, run is 3. Up 2, over 3. And there we've got a line. So we can draw that. That was pretty pretty straightforward, eh? Take that, something like that. There's our line. Just kind of drew it in roughly. It's not exactly straight. I didn't use a ruler, so. But that's our line. Um, okay, let's do the other one. Let's see what this one looks like. Um, again, remember the m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. So what is the slope of this one? This one is the slope. That's the m, mx. So that's negative 3, which I usually write it as this. We have to put it as a fraction, because you want to have rise over run. So put negative 3 is just negative 3 over 1. And 5 is the y-intercept. So this that comes down, this is the b. So it's just positive 5. So 0, 5 is, so okay, so where's the, we start with the point, the point. Remember, they would plot the point, and it given me a point and a slope. So really, this, the point is 0, 5, right? Yeah, and this one was 0, negative 4 over here. But, um, so if go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my point. Now the slope is negative 3 over 1, so down 3 over 1. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. I always start from the point I have. Down 3 over 1. Wow. Down 3 over 1. That's good. Now let's draw the line through there. Let's see if we can move the draw thing this time. Let's see if we can get that working. Oop, what happened? Bring it up again. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to draw. Nope, didn't take. Okay, let's do it again. Draw, draw, draw. Here we go. Okay. And we'll bring it up here. There we go. Good enough. And there we have our line. We've just drawn the line by looking at the equation, writing down the slope from that equation, the y intercept. And then we do the two steps. We plot the point, and we just plot some other points using the slope. Just do the same, whatever the slope. Remember, rise over run, rise over run. Just do what, exactly what it tells us with the rise and with the run, and we find extra points. Okay, and we can draw our line through it, and we'll have a straight line. There's the equation drawn.